hello everybody welcome back to my channel this is cook with neki i hope everybody is doing well if you're new to this channel i want to say thank you so much for stopping by on today's menu we are making grilled chicken kebab it's quick it's easy it's delicious let's get started for our ingredients i have my chicken breast this is wash and clean so make sure you wash your chicken i have my green bell peppers my white onions, yellow bell peppers, red bell peppers. I have some salt, some ginger paste, chili powder, and onion paste. I also have my chicken seasoning. You could use any seasoning of your choice. This is the type I'm using. And I'm using this type of suya mix. This is from Show Suya Pepper. This video is not sponsored, but trust me, if you try, you're going to love it. She sells shito and other natural spices. So that's her number. If you're interested, let her know and you're going to get it right in front of your door. And these are my ski ways that I'm going to be using for the chicken. I soak this in water for about 30 minutes to an hour. This is to prevent it from burning since I'm going to be putting them in the oven. So make sure you soak this in water. So now we're going to start cutting our chicken. We're going to cut this into smaller sizes. And this is how I'm cutting mine. However you're comfortable with, cut it however size you want, but make sure you don't cut it too big. And all that sliminess that around the chicken, make sure you take that off too. And now our chicken is ready. This is the size of mine. Make sure you don't cut it too big. Make sure it's small enough because we're going to be skewing it. I'm not going to add all my spices on this chicken. This is two tablespoons of ginger paste. And this is my onion paste. This is also two tablespoons of onion paste. I'm now going to add my chili powder. This was about half tablespoon of chili powder. This is optional. If you can't take the heat, do not add it. You can also reduce the quantity of the chili powder if you want. I'm adding my chicken seasoning. Remember, you can also use any chicken seasoning of your choice or you could up this out if you don't want it. And some salt. This was about one teaspoon of salt. Now I'm going to add my suya mix. If you don't have this, you can use any suya mix of your choice. But if you want this, let me know and I'm going to give you her number and you can get this right in front of your door. This is for delivery. I added about two tablespoons of suya mix powder. Now you want to make sure you mix this really well to make sure all the chicken is coated with all that seasoning that we added to it. So make sure you mix this well. So after mixing this, I covered it and let it sit in the refrigerator for at least an hour. If you're in a hurry, you could skip it right away. You don't have to, but I had more time, so I wanted to like marinate a little bit. So in an hour time, my chicken was ready to skew, and the skewing process was so fun for me because all I had to do is just take one chicken and one green bell pepper, one chicken, one red bell pepper, one chicken, one onion, one chicken, one yellow bell peppers. However you want to do it, it's all up to do. Just make it fun and let it look pretty. Look at that. Also remember all the peppers I'm adding, it's all optional. If you don't like it, please do not add it. If you don't like the onions, do not add it. Just up that out, just use your chicken and your chicken will be so good as well. As I always say, you're the boss in your own kitchen. So if you want to add more, add more. If you want to subtract, subtract. You tell these ingredients how you want them to taste good. So whatever, however you want it, guys, do it because you're the boss in that kitchen. And we now dance skewing this chicken. Look how pretty that looks. Look how colorful that looks. So I'm putting my skewers on this oven rack and I have this aluminum tray underneath because the liquid is going to be dripping on it. If you have the regular tray, you could use it but make sure it's something you could put in the oven. So I like to arrange my chicken skewers at the opposite side. This is to prevent the skewers from burning because at the end of every skewer, there's a chicken around it. So the chicken moisture prevents the skewer from burning. So if you arrange it this way, it helps the skewers from not burning. 
even though some of the tip of the skewers are going to burn a little bit this prevents it not to burn into flames so I added about one tablespoon of my soya mix and some oil I'm going to mix all this together and brush it on top of the chicken so after we brush this on top of the chicken we're going to bake this in a 300 degrees oven for about 20 to 30 minutes so at this point if you have a grill you don't have to put it in the oven all you have to do is just put it on the grill and you're good to go but this is for those who don't have the grill if you don't have a grill you want to bake this and let it cook and i'm going to show you the trick on how to get it smoky so in about 20 to 30 minutes our chicken is done so now let's get some smokiness in our chicken so remember the oil and the suya mix I'm going to put a little bit in the frying pan just about one tablespoon and all I had to do is just place my chicken kebab on it remember our chicken is well done all we are doing is just to have some smokiness into this chicken at this point you just also want to brush it a little bit with the suya and the oil mix and that helps that smokiness to take place and this is so simple to make if you don't have a grill guys this is what we are talking about we could always make something happen at cook with Nike. and remember to put your heat under low to medium heat we don't want to burn this chicken our chicken is already done from the baking all we need is to incorporate some smokiness so as you continue to do this process and you see that the oil is getting darker please do not use it make sure you wipe it off with the paper towel add a little bit of your suya and oil mix and start your whole process again because when you continue with the dark oil your chicken is going to taste better and you don't want that and here goes our grilled chicken our chicken kebab is ready I sprinkle it with a little bit of the suya mix remember if you don't like the suya mix just up that out you don't have to use it look how pretty that looks I know you really want a bite of this chicken but guess what you cook with me it was easy I know you could make this follow the recipe and you're gonna love it Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Until I come your way next time, this is Cook with Naki. Be good to yourself. Be good to everybody. It goes a long way.